Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Guy Fawkes, Guy Fawkes was his intent to blow up the king and the parliament. Three score barrels of powder below to prove old England's overthrow. By God's providence, he was caught with a dark lantern and a burning match. Allah, boys, Allah, boys, let the rings, bells ring. Allah, boys, Allah, boys, God save the king. And what should we do with him? Burn him. Hi guys and welcome back to Anne Turns Recipes. Now we've got something different today. We're going to be doing Bonfire Night inspired recipes. So the recipe that we're going to be doing is bonfire toffee, cinder toffee and a lovely moist bonfire cake. So stay tuned guys. Okay, the ingredients for our cake are butter, sugar, eggs, flour, We've got some lovely apples and some spices. We've got cinnamon, nutmeg. We've got the rind of a lemon, which I've already grated in here and some vanilla. So let's start with grating the apples. Now, if you don't want to grate your apples, you can cut them up into small chunks. It really doesn't matter. I just prefer mine grater so it's more evenly distributed throughout your cake. Okay, now we've grated uh, the apples. We've got all the green ingredients that we need, so we're just gonna start combining them. Now you can do this by hand, but I'm gonna use my mixer. So the first thing is to put your softened butter, your softened butter and your sugar into your mixing bowl. And you want to mix that until your butter and sugar has combined and it's light and fluffy. It should actually change colour. So I'll just get the mixers going. nice and um, change and lighter in colour I'm just going to incorporate the eggs and I'm just going to put them in on a slow speed one at a time Now you can see I've added the eggs and it's been incorporated into the sugar and the butter. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add my apples. Now it really doesn't matter if your apples go brown because they're going to be baked and it's going to be incorporated into the light brown colour of the cake. So I'm just going to add that a little bit at a time. So I've just finished adding all the apples and I'm just going to add my lemon zest. And then I'm going to add my cinnamon and nutmeg.
you can smell the spices and everything it's, it's just lovely and then I'm going to add my vanilla and then last of all I'm going to fold in my flour and my flour has already been saved ingredients together so the next stage is to add some dried fruit now I don't particularly like sultanas or raisins so what I'm using today I'm gonna add um, some dried cranberries now these cranberries when they're dry they're not as bitter or as sour and um, they're quite nice and refreshing so that's what I'm going to add in instead of um, sultanas or raisins. So I'm just gonna stir that in nicely. And now I'm just gonna add that to the tray. stage before I put it in the oven is to just sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on top so it gives it a nice crispy topping there we go that's ready for the oven and you need to bake that for about 25 to 30 minutes okay I have taken the bonfire cake out of the oven and that is nice and cool I've left it to cool so let's just Take it out of the tin. I've already cut it up into pieces. And as you can see, that absolutely looks delicious. There we have it. Bonfire cake. Just ready for that cold evening around the bonfire with a hot cup of chocolate and a piece of bonfire cake or with custard around a lovely fire just the right thing for bonfire night add all my ingredients into the pan now you have to be very careful with um with this recipe because it can get very hot so we're going to stir the sugar at this early stage. We don't want to keep stirring it, just occasionally, but until the sugar has fully melted into the butter, I'm going to give it a bit of a stir. molasses or black treacle scrape that all in there and last of all I'm just going to add the condensed milk not evaporated but condensed okay yeah i think all the sugar is fully uh, melted so i'm just going to leave that to bubble so we want to get that right up to temperature and 
Um, there's two ways of testing that. You can use a thermometer and you need to get it up to 130 degrees centigrade or you can, it needs to boil for about 20 to 30 minutes and then you can actually take some out of it and put it in cold water and if it goes hard then you know that your um, bonfire toffee is ready. So we're just going to leave that to bubble away. Right, so now it's been bubbling away for about um, 20 minutes and I think it's nearly ready. So I'm just going to test it in this glass of water. Just going to drop a bit in there. And as you can see, that's gone solid. So I'm just going to take it off the heat. Turn that down. And here I've got a pan that I'm just going to pour the um, treacle in. And I've lined it and I've greased it on the pan and I've greased it again on top of the paper. So be very, very careful with this because it's quite hot. So I'll just pour that in there. So I'm just going to leave that to cool down. I'll leave it for a couple of hours and then I'll put it in the fridge. Right, our bonfire toffee has nicely set. Now what I did before it was absolutely cold, I scored it so it would be easier to break up so you don't have these shards of um, bonfire toffee spraying all over the place. I'll just take it out of the tin. Take the paper off it. Now, what I like to do is once I've broken them up into little pieces, I've got these little bags. These are a bit dirty. And I just pop them in. Just a few in each one. Just take the sticky off. There's my little bags, I can just give them to my friends and family. Okay, so to make the cinder toffee, since it's the season for burning, you know, bonfire night and everything, um, you will need some um, sugar, some golden syrup or honey, I'm going to use honey, and some um, bicarbonate of soda and a teaspoon of water. So I'm gonna put the sugar in. And then I'm going to put the honey. Get that all scraped in. And then I'm going to put one teaspoon of um, water. Just going to take that off the heat for a bit. 
I'm just going to mix that all in until it's incorporated. I wonder who invented this? I just I can't see how what you would be doing to think, oh, I'll put some bicarbonate of sh um, soda in that. It was most likely an accident. <laughs> right, that's nicely incorporated. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that on the fire and I'm not gonna stir it too much. Just rub down the sides of it. Just wanna make sure that um, it heats up enough so that all the sugar is melted. I can still feel the sugar, so I'm just going to keep stirring until the sugar's all melted. Once the sugar's melted, you don't need to stir it. Right, I think all that sugar's incorporated, so I'm just going to leave that to start bubbling up. I'm just going to stir it a little bit. I'm not going to use the spoon. I'm just going to swill it round a bit so it doesn't burn. And I've got my thermometer here. So it needs to go right up to um, 130. Now, when you put the bicarbonate of soda in, you need to act quite quickly and stir quite um, quickly and I'll take it off the heat, give it a good stir. We're at um, 120, there we go, we're at 130. Just take the thermometer out, be very careful because it's very hot. I'll just pop that over there. And I'm just going to put in all of my bicarbonate of soda. And you can see it starts to um, take it off the heat a bit. So that's just looking lovely. And I'll just take my tray and I've greased it. And I'm just going to pour everything in my tray. You can see all the bubbles. Looking absolutely delicious. go there's your cinder toffee now I'm just gonna leave that for a couple of hours to cool down and then I'll put it in the fridge to cool down properly and I'll come and show you how everything looks when it's all nice and cool okay now that our cinder to cinder <laughs> okay now that our cinder toffee is nice and cool I'm just gonna take it out of the pan show you what it looks like and then there we go and then we're going to break it up there we go nice and bubbly in the middle so what I'm going to do I'm going to chop it up and put it in some bags that's what I usually do Now there's different ways of serving this. You can cover it in lovely chocolate, just dip it in melted chocolate and leave it to set. Or you can just have it on its own like this. You can also have it as a topping for ice cream or you can crunch it up 
and use it as a filling inside a cake just to give your cake a little bit of a crunch so it's quite versatile it's not something that you just have to have on um, bonfire night but it is traditionally what we do in the UK on bonfire night okay what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna fill my little bags you can give it out to children or adults for that matter I always use little bags because you don't want to full up on sugar because it is quite sweet there you go nicely packaged up to give that away sorry no meeting nicely packaged up to give away lovely that they don't even love you half as much as I want to